The reason why our community doesn't understand you is because all you do is gaslight people who take learning telekinesis extremely seriously. Your community post is literally bullying psychic people and most importantly, you offend us. Okay, I think you're using the term gaslighting incorrectly as well as the term bullying as well as the term literally. You know what? Let's do this. Roll the intro. All right, welcome back to Magic Isn't Real, the place where obviously I still don't have a studio, but also the place where I try to replicate the claims of the supernatural with my very natural skill. And now, if you don't mind, bear with me. I just want to try a little experiment really quickly. And uh, trust me, I have a point with this, but I just don't want to give any camera cuts at all. I just want to show, so this is just a chair. There's nothing underneath this. And I just want to show you something. This is something I saw. Uh, on a video that unfortunately I cannot find anymore and I know you might think you know this is very convenient so you cannot find the original video I cannot find it I'm sorry as I said this is a situation but anyway if you don't mind bear with me I want to try an experiment so I saw this as a demonstration of telekinesis specifically to prove that it's not really air that moves um, the side wheel the side wheel that I'm going to show you now and it's also that like it's kind of to prove to you that you can target your telekinesis on certain things. So here's what I'm going to do. I have a, a needle on a little, uh, this is just press stick and a needle. I'm just going to put it down. I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same setup I saw in this video, which is I'm going to put a side wheel over here, balancing. I have now here three other pieces of foil. This is just regular foil that I'm going to balance. Bear with me. I don't want a camera cut or anything. So just bear with me. Okay, one. Let's go. Let's go two. This is the most difficult. This is more difficult than actual telekinesis. And let's go number three. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just I'm going to step away. And I'm going to stop talking for a second. The idea is that you have to make the saw wheel move, which is already moving, without having any of the other pieces of foil to fall down. So technically, air should not be what makes the saw wheel move, which again, it keeps on moving, but I'm going to try, okay? Boom, there it is. So what you might be thinking right now is that as a magician, I'm using some sort of gimmick right now. I have set up something in this room that allows me to do this, that allows me to move this without having these other pieces of foil falling down. Cause I say, I say I use my magician skills to replicate the claims of the supernatural. But here's the thing, and this is my mistake, cause maybe I didn't specify that sometimes what I do to demonstrate that your demonstrations of supernatural claims are not good enough there it is now you know that they can fall you see um sometimes what i do to tell you to try to explain to you that your demonstrations is not good enough i just do the same exact thing like this is there's no gimmick here there's no there's no sleight of hand there's no camera trick there's no there's nothing i'm legitimately doing the same thing the same setup that you guys are doing to show you that this bloody thing moves yes sometimes i do create illusions specifically to show you that something can be fake because i actually don't know how that thing is happening on the screen. But sometimes there's no trick, there's no illusion. This is just something that happens. And I don't want you to fool yourself in thinking that you are making this happen. And I'm saying this today in this video because I get a feeling that you guys keep on thinking that I'm calling you delusional, that I'm saying that you have some sort of mental illness. No, that was not my intention. That was not what I was trying to prove. I was just pointing out that some of this method that you guys are using to prove the existence of telekinesis to yourself, not to others, but to yourself, are methods that are potentially 
flawed. I received a comment that says, when I when I posted my video, how to prove TK to yourself, and I said something like, well, maybe you shouldn't move something that it's balancing on something else because there's potential energy, or maybe you should, I said you should move something that's a bit more heavier or something that is a little bit, that has a solid base, like a little, a little wooden cube. I think that's what I said in the video. And some of you said like that that won't work because telekinesis is very difficult, especially in the beginning. And then, and then you need something that's easy to move. And then you, a lot of you keep on making this analogy like, oh, when you go to the gym for the first time in your life, you don't immediately pick up the heaviest weight. You go with the lightest. Great. That's fantastic. But that's the wrong analogy. Here's the problem with this thing. Where is it? This is not the lightest weight at the gym. You know what this is? It's almost as if like the gym as a machine that randomly works by itself. And when you go and use this machine, you cannot possibly tell when that machine is picking up the weights or when you are picking up the weights. Now that's the right analogy when it comes to stuff like the side wheel or any other version of the side wheel, which is basically any other version of an object that has potential energy stored in it, which means it's either balancing or something already moving or can be easily moved by any other force that's in the room. Take something like the side wheel. Even if you put it under a, a glass dome, which most of you do, some of you don't realize that some hair can still go through that thing. But it's not just that. It can move with vibration. All sorts of vibration. Vibration that comes from the ground. Maybe if you live in a building, someone closes a door in another room and that vibration can actually make it move. That point of the needle is so narrow compared to how much that thing has to balance. That literally anything can make it move. Like it could even be vibrations that come from like a dog whistle, from like a sound that you cannot hear. Those vibrations can make that side wheel move. Any sorts of different in temperature can make that side wheel move not calling you mentally ill i'm not calling you delusional i'm questioning if you have considered all the options all the possibilities that can make this object move that you are using to prove to yourself that this supernatural ability exists which brings me to a few other points that i want to talk about in this video so sorry if this video is going to be a little bit like almost like random but i'm trying to as i said in my previous video i'm trying to do things differently i'm trying to open a, a, a communication that goes beyond just calling ourselves names and making fun of each other and i'm trying to really understand where you guys are coming from so maybe i can help you because this brings me to i'm sure that some of you after seeing the demonstration that i just did are gonna be like no but i've done my own research and i'm sure that it that it moves when i, I checked every possible thing and i'm sure that it moves that when i tell him to move i'm like Okay, that's great. But the thing about doing your own research is that you can't do it alone. Out of all the things that I said before that can make a side wheel move, are you honest enough to tell me that you have considered all of them? Have you considered all of those ones that I mentioned, including the possibility that there's a, someone calling their dog with a dog whistle and the vibration makes it move? Because I bet you didn't even know that. Because I didn't even know that. I discovered that like a couple weeks ago that those type of vibration can make a side wheel move. So that's what I'm saying. I'm... I'm <sighs> I want to help. I really want to find out if this is real, but we need to approach it properly. And I know that what I just said and what I just showed you is probably incredibly frustrating. Believe me, I know that you're probably like, no, man, I've been doing this for like 15 years. You don't know what you're talking about. I am sure that there's nothing that moves this thing but my own mind. And I hear you, but I want to get back to you with, are you really that sure? Are you really, really, really that sure? And again, this isn't bullying. This isn't gaslighting or harassing or anything. I am asking a legitimate question after I also done my own research, as you call it. Except I have included other people in my own research, including magicians that are way more expert than me, including, including physicists. People that have studied study physics, not just like, oh, I'm sure it's not, it's not just basic physics. Like, yeah, I'm sure it's not just basic physics, but do you know anything about advanced physics? Which brings me to the next point, which is not the best segue ever, but I'm just going to go for it. All of this, I honestly do not care if it offends you. I said this many times, but the truth doesn't care about your feelings. And the truth doesn't necessarily, it's going to make you happy. And that's the truth. That's how the truth works. So if you're happy with not going further with me on this 
research because what you do with telekinesis makes you happy then just kind of stop coming to me then stop leaving comment on my channel stop complaining when people say it's fake stop trying to convince other people if this stuff is good for you it makes you happy like i said in my previous video it it, it makes you happy it helps you then there's no reason for me to convince you of something or you to convince me of something else so please stop coming to my channel to call me toxic hater or bully or whatever it is, because it's, 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 it's pointless. But if you're doubting, because maybe I said something that you never even considered, then I'm, I'm not, we're not enemies. We're not fighting. We're in this together. As I said to someone recently, my true passion is as much as I love performing, which is, I love performing and I love doing magic, but my true, true, true passion is legitimately investigating the supernatural. I've been doing it since I was a kid. It is the reason why I became a performer. A magician, a performer is because that's where my investigation of supernatural got me. So this is what I am going to keep on doing with this channel as much as possible. I'm going to change a little bit of the content, but this is always going to be in the back of my head. Which brings me once again to the next point, which is uh, people have been telling me, can we just like agree to disagree? No, we can't. Unfortunately, we cannot because this isn't a conversation on what's better, sushi or ice cream. This is, this is a conversation about reality. This is like, we can't agree to disagree on gravity, for example. We can't agree to disagree on the flat earth, you know? It's either gonna be one thing or the other. And, and that's, I'm sorry, that's what it is. We cannot move on, unfortunately, and we can't agree to disagree. This has to keep on going. Which once again brings me to my next point, which is the final point for today's video, which is something that I keep on hearing since the moment I started this channel, which is, can't you just focus on attacking? First of all, okay, maybe it looks like I'm attacking people because of the way I am, but I'm not attacking anybody. But anyway, I keep on hearing this suggestion from you. We know there's fakes out there. So can't you just focus on the fakers? Can't you just focus on the fraudsters? Can't you just focus all your energy on like at attacking, debunking the people that are the real fakes? I would love that if you could tell me how to differentiate because for every single person that I've spoke about on my channel, there's one of you telling me that I made a mistake, that yes, there are fakes out there, but he's not a fake. That's the problem. You're telling me, why don't you just go after the fraudster? But according to you, there are no fraudster. Maybe point, point me to a fraudster or maybe, maybe, wild idea. Maybe we can all work together on developing a system that really differentiates the real deal with the fake ones. But see, what's amazing about that is that unfortunately, that would be that we come up with a system that truly truly defines whether or not disabilities are real or not because that's the main thing and i know that some of you have some suggestion like oh but just go after the people who charge money sure i could do that but the problem is that sometimes there are other people who endorse the people that charge money so just because those people are not charging money am i supposed to not paying attention to those also maybe you're not charging money but you release a tutorial and that is still a product that you somehow selling so yeah one last time i would love to only attack the fakes and the frauds but like you cannot even tell me which one they are so that's a little bit difficult so i have to take a different approach and question everything so that maybe we'll get to a proper answer anyway this is the end of the video thank you so much for staying if you don't mind subscribing sharing liking it will really help especially in this situation i'm glad that this channel is is going in a certain direction and i wanted to say something really quick that I just realized a couple of days ago. So for those of you that, that already know, uh, the roof of my house uh, collapsed. So right now I'm in this situation and uh, I just wanted to say uh, something. A while ago, I issued a remote viewing challenge. Uh, the remote viewing challenge consisted in, in some of you trying to find uh, this signed still closed deck of cards that I put somewhere in my house. Obviously, this is not in that spot anymore uh, for many reasons. First of all, because the roof collapsed. And second of all, because now there's so many people coming in and out of my house to do construction. I have a feeling that if suddenly one of you gets the spot correctly, I will always be suspicious that it's because someone told them because they saw it in my house. I know that it's incredibly paranoid and I know that probably none of the people that are coming to fix my roof watch my YouTube channel, but it's just a, a chance that I cannot take. I have a question for you that you can leave in a comment section if you want. I, I did my own research on remote viewing and apparently like remote viewing is supposed to go beyond space and time, which means someone, some of you, if you remote view into my house, you should be able to tell me where this was hidden before, even if it's not hidden in there right now. So my question for you is, do you want to keep on going with that challenge and just figure out where it was? 
because I'm never going to forget. So if you guess correctly, I will tell you. Or do you want to wait a little bit longer once my house is done? And then I'm going to hide this again somewhere different. And we're going to do another challenge. That's the question for today. Let me know because I legitimately don't know how to do it. But I want to be as fair as possible to the people who want to attempt remote view this thing to prove to me the remote viewing is real, which is another thing that I question a lot. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Peace out. No, I can end on a fail. Peace out.